you get an extra 20% off, girl, go ahead, baby, okay? Tim Hortons. Canadians know, if you know, you know. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. So today it's gonna be a Sephora VIB recommendations type video. So I don't really like recommending skincare to y'all because obviously skincare is subjective and it depends on like who you are, the skin concerns that you have, all that good stuff. But I do have sensitive skin, y'all. I have to be very careful with the products that I use because I do have sensitive skin. So two products I'm gonna, or two brands I'm gonna recommend to you. Fenty Beauty, number one, especially their Fenty Toner. I'll pop up a picture next to me so y'all can see like what I'm talking about. I do like the Fenty toner because it helps eliminate dark spots, adds hydration to the skin, doesn't strip the skin. And yeah, it's just a really, really good product and it's great again for sensitive skin. So if y'all have not tried that out, try it out. It's fantastic and I love it. Next up is just like a brand that I really love and appreciate. It's Ole Henriksen. They have amazing products. I love their serums. I love their moisturizers. Um, pretty much anything from Ole Henriksen, I really, really love. I have Ole Henriksen if you have not. Ule, Ula Henriksen, y'all know the drill. But try them out. Next up, let's get into the staple products that your girl uses every day. Well, time, honey. There's like three foundations that I really, really love that I want to share with you guys. First up is a foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush flawless finish it's ish 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 that's a whole ish the airbrush flawless finish foundation something like that and it's a matte foundation it's super long lasting you guys and i wear the shade i don't know what shade i wear you guys i don't have all the products with me but i'll list the shade that i wear down downstairs Gah! I'll list the shade that I wear down in the description box for you guys but this foundation you guys is so good and it's pricey it's pricey but she's worth it Another foundation that I love, love, love is from Dior. This is the Face and Body or Body and Face Backstage Foundation. That foundation, again, you guys, it's life-changing. It is a natural finish foundation. Long-wearing, lightweight, literally looks like skin. It's so beautiful. Uh, I just wish it was transfer-proof. That's the only thing. I wish it was transfer-proof. It is literally perfection, you guys. And by the way, it's the only foundation that I've realized that has not gone up in price at Sephora, fingers crossed, because everything's going up in price by like $2 every year. And that's the only foundation that stayed the same price. Thank you, Dior. Okay, Christian Dior, 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 Dior. Okay. Next up, let's discuss concealers. And you guys, if I keep looking down, it's just because I'm looking at my phone and I'm reading my notes, so don't judge. <laughs> So first up is the concealer from Smashbox. It's long lasting, no creasing. Shade range is impeccable. The formula is so amazing. I really wish people spoke about this, um, this concealer way more because it is amazing, okay? Amazing. It's a concealer from Marc Jacobs. I love this caffeine shot concealer. Like right now it's at TJ Maxx, it's on sale at Sephora, and I really love it. It's super lightweight, but it gives you coverage. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It's just, I don't know if it's a matte, it's not a matte finish, but I believe it's a natural finish, but I'll double check, but I think it's a natural finish concealer. And the way it just beautifully lies on the skin, it's just stunning. And I don't know why people don't talk about it more often. I have two different shades in that concealer because I love it so, so much. Next, let's discuss setting powders. I love Huda Beauty hands down one of the best setting powders ever that is it called the baking something the easy bake something like that y'all so blurring the shade range chef's kiss just uh so good go get it it's awesome and get it during the sale the other setting powder that i love is from charlotte tilbury and it's the pressed powder version and it's the air brush powder and again it's a pressed powder and that baby is so blurring so smoothing but if they just had like an entire line just dedicated to that powder i would lose my mind i think i would buy everything for no reason like all right so let's get into eyeshadows so eyeshadows number one but Vanessa myrick's her foil pigments bomb i just got into those last year as well oh they're so good they're sparkly they're foiled she has multiple different shades she released new shades at the end of last year they're so beautiful super pigmented just amazing products that i would really recommend for everyone because if you just want a little dabble a little sparkle in your life those are the perfect products to add to your collection because they're amazing oh did i just give up a bronzers child bronzers are life-changing uh-uh not me we gotta get into it i have been loving the rare beauty cream bronzers those launched at the end of last year as well 
formula balm i'm wearing it today i actually have a review video on out on that as well so if you want to check that out baby i'll look at the quartz for you okay but the cream bronzers from rare beauty are so beautiful they do need to extend that shade range girl however formula so good and the price point so amazing too and with that 20 percent off discount even better you guys so that is it for my sephora vib recommendations thank you so so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if any of the stuff that i recommended to you if you've tried them out if you love it if you don't love it what you're going to pick up during the sale child because i gotta bring y'all a haul for that as well i'm gonna bring you all my haul because i definitely i'm gonna grab some stuff during the sale thank you so so much for watching i appreciate all your love all your support and i'll see you in the next video bye guys